Hello everybody, my name is Jonah, Jonah Riddle, and I'm happy to call myself a member of the Ephrata AM crew. But you're going to get to know me today, so let's get started. I have a mom, I have a dad, and I have a sister. My favorite sport is basketball. I love to go hiking. And I just love the wilderness in general. Ever since I was a little boy, I just enjoyed making videos. I'll play basketball on this court when I was his age. Brother, hit me. I could go on and on, but we're gonna have to end it here. Oh, one, one more thing, one more thing. Cooper, come here. One more thing. This is my dog. This is Cooper. Wow, oh wow. I love you and you mean much to me, but you're gonna have to leave. Leave, get out. I could go on and on, but we're gonna have to end it here because we got a show to get to. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the show. Effort to AM, we're live. Let's get it. Good morning, Ephrata. Good morning. I'm Georgie. I'm Pennywise. <laughs> Today's Friday, October 6th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Today, a representative from Gordon College will be here at 8, and a representative from Slippery Rock University will be here at 9. Any students interested in meeting with a representative in the CRC, please sign up in Naviance. Hey, students. Looking <laughs> for something to do this Sunday at 1 o'clock? Watch the Africa Quiz Bowl team in action on Brain Busters on WGAL TV 8. It's the first match of the year, and it's a real barn burner. Tune in to WGAL 8 at 1 o'clock on Sunday. <laughs> Sign up for the ASVAB in the counseling office today. If you are interested in the 10th, 11th, or 12th grade and need some help making career decisions, then consider taking the ASVAB. The ASVAB is designed to help you learn more about yourself and the world of work. Explore occupational skills in, li in line with your interests and skills and develop a strategy to realize your career goals. This free assessment is offered at EHS on Wednesday, November 1st. Stop in the counseling office to sign up today. After the Quiz Bowl had a great year last year, finishing third in the league and third on WGAL's Brain Busters. How would you like to be a part of that team? You have your chance coming up on Tuesday, October 10th. Practices begin on that date and take place mostly Tuesdays and Thursdays from 310 to 350. Show up at the first practice for more information. Attention! 10th grade students who are interested in touring Brownstown Career and Technology Center for some really cool half-day programs for your 11th grade school year. Permission slips are available on Schoology and in the counseling office. Hurry, the deadline is today. The, sh the date of the trip is 10-10-17. Now over to Anthony with the news. Tony! The University of Nairobi, Kenya's oldest and most prestigious institution of higher education, was forced to close on Tuesday after a series of violent scrimmages between administrators, students, and police that left several students injured. The police issued an ultimatum to the students stating that they have 12 hours to leave the school's campuses. Many students are refusing to move until their tuition is refunded. The President of the Philippines is moving on a plan to impeach the Philippine Chief Justice of the Supreme Court with full support of his congressional allies. This is viewed by many as an attempt by the historically autocratic leaders to remove political descendants from office in order to install support and consolidate power. The Geneva-based peace organization, the International Organization to Abolish Nuclear Weapons, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize this morning for their 
work in combating nuclear proliferation. Their methods primarily involve facilitating dip diplomatic talks between nations to achieve a treaty between prohibition based prohibitions on such weapons. Today in history, Thomas Edison showed off the first motion picture in 1888. However, most of the original work in developing the moving pictures was done by his assistant, William Dixon. The movie industry would boom within the next two decades, first with the silent films and later with the talkies in the 1920s. To see some of the earliest movies, check out the Library of Congress website. They have the actual videos captured by Edison himself. Now over to Delft Gecko with lunch. Today, for lunch, we have a bacon cheeseburger with a whole grain roll, turkey and gravy with rolls, a raging south of the border chicken sandwich, a bologna and cheese sandwich, a PB&J Uncrustable, chicken Caesar salad, mashed potatoes, glazed sweet potatoes, broccoli with cheese sauce, fresh cauliflower and dip, or pineapple, pineapple tidbits, fresh fruit, or a slushie. Girls Volleyball fell to E-Town 3-0. Anyone interested in playing in the dodgeball tournament is urged to pick up registration materials ASAP, no Rocky, from Mr. Geyer in room 129 or at www.effortamounts.com. Don't put it off because entries are due on October 25th. Remember, each team must raise at least $126 to enter with a three-game guarantee. All proceeds benefit the Juvenile Diabetes Association. Today, field hockey is away at LS and football is away at Garden Spot. Now back to the main desk. Save the date, on Wednesday, October 25th, the Counseling Office will host a free financial aid night for students and families at 6.30 p.m. in the AHS Auditorium. This collaborative effort with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency will clarify the financial aid process and provide annual updates to the FAFSA application process. Homecoming ticket sales are only happening the following times this year. Today, during all lunch periods, Tuesday, October 10th, during all lunch periods and after school. Wednesday, October 11th, during all lunches. Thursday, October 12th, after school only. Tickets are $7 if you purchase before the dance or $10 at the door of the day of the dance. You cannot purchase a ticket if you have an obligation. Homecoming Spirit Week, Tuesday, October 10th to Friday, October 13th. Tuesday, home run day, wear sports gear. Wednesday, home of the free and the brave, wear USA gear. Thursday, home away from home, tourist, Hawaiian shirt, etc. gear. Friday, no place like home, effort of gear. Make sure to get your copy of the Mountaineer. All Marzoc classes should go to the media center today. I repeat, all Marzoc classes should go to the media center today. <laughs> That's it for today, Ephrata. See you tomorrow. <laughs> He's a phantom. Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. Young Danny Fenton, he was just 14 when his parents built a very strange machine. It was designed to view a world unseen. He's gonna catch them all because he's Danny Fenton. When it didn't quite work, his folks, they just quit. But then Danny took a look inside of it. There was a great big flash of things just changed. His molecules got all rearranged. When he first woke up, he realized he had snow white hair and glowing green eyes. He could walk through walls, disappear, and fly. He was much more unique than the other guy. And it was then that he knew what he had to do. He had to stop while the ghosts that were coming through. He's here to fight for me and you.